Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Addington News. Darren Williams uh, right behind us, a lot of history here, a number of the people have made an enormous contribution to Addington Raceway over, well, at least 20 years. Yeah, in front of the staff board, the 20 year board for people that have been here with long service, part of the stuff that we're having a look at with the Hall of Fame, history here at Addington Raceway and these people, as you say, made a huge contribution to the raceway. As you're starting to make your way out of the lift and, and towards the brick and winning owners bar, if you're lucky enough, you can stop by and check out some of the names there. They certainly have made a great contribution. Uh, Darren, let's touch on the IRT harness jewels and, and what a magnificent job by David Branch, Graham Bowen and the hardworking team there at Cambridge. It's a terrific day. Yeah, absolutely. It takes a big crew to put something like that together. They did a terrific job. Turnover's outstanding. Like, yep. really, really good. 2.6 million, I think, with some export to come. So, really promising. Um, IRT were wrapped. Yep. Big sponsor. And a huge day for so many people. So many people that got uh, very excited, including Ed Dobbs, Ian Dobson, with that huge run by Akuta. Um, incredible. Yeah, it was. Uh, arguably the greatest duel thus far in the 14 year history. A stunning performance by him. Uh, mid winter dining packages, you're telling me before, they're filling up really fast. Yeah, they are. So if you're looking to do that, the 9th and the 23rd, we've mentioned it a few times, but they are really filling up. There's only a few spaces left. Go That's to the website. Yep. yep, 9th and 23rd of July. Dinner dance type arrangement with a band, uh, $65, your meal, a welcome drink, betting voucher. Really good to be involved with, um, so there is a few left, so get into those early. All right, what about the Spectator Specials? They continue to roll out. Yep, so we touched on that net special that's available at the moment for the ladies, or, yep. or anyone that wants a wine, obviously. Um, the six one free, so plus all the other specials, so loose change. We'll have a good go this week on yep. Sunday with the roast. Uh, the last meeting wasn't too pleasant with the weather, but um, we got through, but this one will be a good one. So roast available to spectators on Sunday. Sunday, 10 races, 12.05. Friday is a twilight meeting. First race, 5 to 4. Nine yeah, races. Just talk me through that. So we've got the nine races. So it's all over, nice and early. Yeah, about nine, uh, 7.46, yeah. I think, is the last race. So yeah, no, quick fire program on a Friday afternoon. Really good. All right, the uh, ultimate race book. We've yes, talked about this a bit, haven't we? We have. So, the herb, yep. urb.co.nz, the herb. Have a look at that. Um, all of the information is there for a race book. Both meetings are there already yep. for this week, so you can look at those. But we're going to leave you with the cheat sheet, if you like, that we make available to all of our industry people through our EDMs and everything else. But it has a summary, if you like, of the highlights. So we just want to look back at last the last meeting here. Sue Princess has won. She's in on uh, Friday night, yep. and she really belted home. The sectionals that you see have been adjusted based on where they were in the track. So if they covered more than 800 metres, the time gets adjusted back as though they were against the pylon line. So, it gives you a wee bit of a, an edge on knowing how quick they've come home. Yeah, so, great tool for punters, isn't it? So, yeah, absolutely. So have a play with that. Have a look at the race book, uh, theherb.co.nz. We'll let you have a look at that on the way out.